and welcome. I am Raghav and today I am taking up a question asked by one of my viewers and the name is Mahas Talent. Now I am not sure if this is your real name and the question is I have a career gap of 1.5 years. Shall I restart my career with DevOps? Is it a good decision? Now uh, I have received similar questions on restarting a career after a gap and I believe that it does not matter whether the gap is 1 year, 2 years or 10 years. What matters is you must be confident, you must be ready to learn and you should be prepared to upgrade your skill set. So if you are ready with all these three things then it does not matter how long is the career gap and fortunately today we live in a times where there is a lot of information, uh, resources and courses available online so you can always take help from there. Now I have created this five point plan for you that I will read out and before I tell you these five points the most important thing will be why exactly you want to switch your job or why exactly you want to restart your career in some particular domain. If it is just for uh, money and growth then maybe you will have to think again. You should have some real real uh, reason for doing something and if you have that then these are the five points which I have written. Number one is research and check the relevant skills you will need to acquire. Now you can go to any of the job portals and uh, you can download the job description for five or ten jobs and go through it and you will very soon come to know some common skills which are required in that particular domain and you can make a list of these four or five top skills and once you have done that the second thing is a uh, search online tutorials available for those skills now you can go to uh, youtube you can go to udemy these are two very good platforms where you can search and you can uh, filter out the courses which are relevant for you and then you can make a list of these courses and then start taking up these courses this is the third thing Take up the courses and complete them with proper hands-on and this is very important that you do hands-on along with these courses because otherwise you will not exactly get the experience of real world issues. The fourth thing is update your resume and update your skill set in your resume and then fifth thing is start applying for the jobs and if you follow this religiously I am sure you will get a job that you have been looking for. So these are my thoughts if you think there is something I have missed you can always go down in the comment section and write it down so that I can read it out and I will also feature it in the next video and if there is any other question that you want me to feature in, in the next video you can always write it down in the comment section below. I will meet you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.